Okay, so building on the video that I just talked about creating a you know gloss map or using a gloss map inside of Lumion, I'm now going to show you how to not only save this material in a Lumion format, but I'm also going to show you how to do it with a model, and then I'm going to show you how you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click materials, and then we can go to the menu, and we're going to save material to custom materials. Now this is already it's asphalt wet, but it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be whatever you have the materials on. So I'm going to call this high mesh wood floor. Hit OK. Now, once I do that, we can go to our documents, I believe it is. Lumion 12 materials, and then right in there, you have the iMesh wood floor. You need both of these files, but theoretically what you can do is you can take this, you can copy these files, you can send them in emails, you can uh, drop them into other computers. If you have a colleague that wants one of your materials, you can just save it in that Lumion format, or like I said, you can just kind of copy it to a server. And if they drag and drop these into their Lumion 12 materials folder, so documents, Lumion 12, and materials, then it will just automatically appear. But I'm going to show you the best way of doing it. So I will just have to close down Lumion for this. So I'll get rid of this. And then while that is closing, I am going to go to my C drive, program files, Lumion 12.0, architect edition, project, materials, and then here you have the custom indoor land and outdoor. So I'm going to go indoor, then I'm going to go to wood indoor. And now these are all of the materials that Lumion has in, uh, in the normal Lumion library. So I'm going to grab these. I'm going to drop this in. And then I go Lumion 12. Just going to open this up. Okay, so I'm going to reopen up uh, Villa Cabrera. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go materials. Then I had to click on that. Sorry. Got a little ahead of myself there. If I go to custom materials, there is nothing there because I have removed that material, which is typically stuck in this custom materials file uh, folder. And now I can go and find, oh, I need to be in wood. So now iMesh wood floor is saved inside of the Lumion library. Uh, I have made some videos about this in the past, but people do still ask me about it, so I want to show them that. Yeah, as I said before, the Lumion devs do not like when I do this, but at the same time, I feel like until they kind of clean up the imported models and materials library, there's really not a choice. It doesn't really make much sense to me that I have to go and look in this material and go, hmm, oh, where's the wood textures? Oh, there's the one, but how do I compare with this? I want to see all the textures in one zone. That's why I typically do it like this, and I'll probably move my other materials in there soon. I'm quickly going to show you how to do this with models as well. This one does not work as well. It is still easy to send models between colleagues or to create kind of like one uh, area for all of the different models, but yeah, you, you can't put the custom models into the Lumion library, which is very unfortunate to me, but let's how do you oh import new model okay uh let's go to models to furniture chairs and i'm gonna look for I'll do the wicker chair if i can find it yeah here we go now the FBX does work. I think they might have upgraded the FBX importing on this. And this is going to be one yeah, category folder. It's cool that you can add that stuff in like kind of right here and everything. But it's just it's not enough of what people need. I was really hoping they were going to address some of those issues along with the batch importer. But apparently they did not. So once we do that, we'll just throw on some. A wood. I'll just literally put the wood, the same wood texture on here. It doesn't look right, but that's fine. And then I'll just uh, do something like this. Bring this down a little bit. Good enough. And from here, we can just close Lumion. And 
we are now going to go into project. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, projects. Libraries. Okay, sorry. So in documents, Lumion 12.0, library, these are all your uh, these are all your custom materials. So this one I don't want. That was the OBJ. We want the wicker chair one. And yeah, like I said, I can't actually, I can't move this around like I want to. So that is kind of unfortunate, but I believe you can do this. And drop that in there. Now I reopen Lumion on 12. All right, now let's see if that worked. If it didn't, I, you know, I, I won't go too far into that. I do feel like I kind of showed you how you do make the formats. When I was filming this video, I actually hadn't tested something that I should have uh, taken the extra time to go and test. So what I learned is that if you have, let me open up my Lumion folder here. So in your documents, if you go to library, and then if we go Greg and chair, so I made a folder inside of library. So there's Greg. And then I also made the chair folder inside of Greg. Now I'm pretty sure before in Lumion, this wouldn't work. It can only go down to one folder, but it seems that now you can actually have sub folders, which is very nice. I should have tested this. Um, I didn't see anything in the notes about it. So I, I did miss that, but th this is actually pretty important because in my opinion, this pretty much has all the functionality that I, I really require. It looks like there is some kind of visual bug, but that that's really not that big of a deal. This is going to let you organize everything a lot better. And I guess now the only real complaint that I would have about this, it seems like right now you can't add your own thumbnails in. Maybe I'm wrong about that. That's a pretty minor thing to me. It'd be cool if you could do that. But at the same time, I don't think that that's really a deal breaker. So I think that overall, this is actually a lot better. So if you are going to spend the time to organize everything in your folders, you are going to be rewarded for that. And I didn't test this also, but it does appear that if you in this, you'll see here that if you if have it in a folder, so like this wicker chair, it has the tags of Greg and chair. So you click on like Greg, everything that's inside of that folder will show up and then chair. So what I want to test in a second here is if I drop a chair into a different folder and I click chair, will the tags still work? So what I did is I went into furniture and I created a new folder. And the reason why I wanted, I, I was actually, I just came across something and I'm not sure if it was going to work, but I wanted to include this because people may run into this issue. I'm kind of going off on some weird tangents here, but this is some stuff that I probably should have played with when I first filmed the the video. So what I want to show you though, is we'll import this FBX. And then you can't, you can't drop a new folder in if it doesn't have anything in it. But I think you can go furniture, chairs. So that does appear to work. And I named that chairs. I shouldn't have done that because it's chair shows up. So, right. Anyways, basically what, what, this, what I was just trying to show you is that what you can do now is when you import things, you actually can create subfolders right inside of Lumion. You can also just grab all this and move it in here. Now, if we close Lumion and reopen it again. Now I believe that you can make custom tags like that. This this is, it's not perfect, I guess, with the tags because you can't make your own. It's just based on the folders, but that is really helpful because if you have like a bedroom folder and a living room folder and they both have chair in them, you can click on that chair tag and you'll see all of your chairs. That's just a little example. I do think this is something they probably should have talked about more um, because I, I said I missed it, but this is more or less what I've been asking for because it's gonna let you organize everything much better. It would be a lot nicer if you could add your own thumbnails, the tags, and you could also add them into the Lumion library, but I'm actually pretty happy with this. I think that this is a change that's going to help out a lot. So I just kind of wanted to show people that if you are actually thinking of taking all of your custom assets and turning it into a library for everyone in your office to use or something along those lines, 
I think this is a lot easier now and people can actually organize. It's not just a big dump of chairs and things like that. You can say like, okay, Evermotion, and then you have like the Evermotion sets or something, Evermotion chairs. It, it, I don't think that there's a limit on how many folders you can use. So you can actually organize everything in a much, much better way now. And I'm, I am fairly excited about that. To me, this is the best feature that they added in Illumion 12, hands down, because the other features were not terrible features, but they just weren't as interesting. I guess this is something that I think is going to, it adds a lot to organization and uh, being able to even just have groups in the normal library, I think is quite cool. So let me just show you what I was talking about. If we open up chair, we click on this one and we type, we hit this right here for the tags. Now we have, you can see that it says Greg chair and also furniture chair because we have those two different folders. And as long as you're willing to kind of sit down and take the time to organize everything like this, you can have a library that's really ready to go with all your custom assets. And if you spend the time to do this, you are going to be rewarded with it because being able to have your own custom library that you can change everything, the imported models that you can bring in uh, do give you a much higher quality than something like a Lumion model like this. Like for example, like this doesn't like no, this barbecue doesn't have a metallic map on it. So people will know it's a barbecue, but it doesn't really look that good. It's the same thing with like these chairs. So like these chairs and everything are just very flat. Um, not really that interesting. This one, the metal on this kind of looks a little bit off too. But if you import your own, you can obviously change all of that and everything will look a lot better. So that is something that I think you should keep in mind. Um, and hopefully this video will help you to create your own custom library with some of the new features that they added in to Lumion 12. Uh, that is going to be the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up on the video. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, everyone.